Okay. Okay, on this video, what we're going to do is we're going to show how to pick up 110 on this. This bottom fuse is the fuse that protects contactor and everything in this box. This fuse and this fuse is what protects this transformer. This is a transformer. The power comes in from up here, goes over to here, comes into the fuse, and then it comes through, it goes through the transformer. But the 110, it, this thing must be 110. It's very critical. Now, this screw right here, you hook to this white wire, and it goes up to the blue post right here. The blue is the neutral. Okay, these are neutral. Now, we're going to take a tester, and we're going to put a test lead up here, and then we're going to put a test lead on the fuse. Now, here's what's the interesting thing. You can put the test lead to one size of the fuse and test it, and you'll have 110. You can check it to one side of the fuse, and you won't have 110. You may have nothing. That's showing you that your fuse is blown. So that's what we're going to do right now. So go ahead and so he sets up there, he puts it up there, and then the tester is showing 132. Okay, that's close enough. I mean, everything is. And then you go to the other side of the fuse, down there, and then up there, and then we have 132 down there. So that means the fuse is good. Okay. Anytime you want to test the fuse, or, you know, you can always check a fuse with continuity if you pull it out. You can't check the continuity if you leave it in. You can check the continuity of a fuse when you pull it out, and that'll tell you if it's good. But if you have voltage on this side to neutral, and then you have voltage on this side to neutral, then the fuse is good. But that's what this thing does. This, this transformer brings everything down to 110 because the contactor, the coil on the contactor, is activated by 110. And this is the 110 that activates the valves inside the machine.